Hello everybody and welcome to Sort of Casual Games YouTube channel. My name is Jay aka Mr. Ghost Protocol and today we're going to be doing the Resident Evil Remake Collector's Edition Unboxing. So here we go. Uh, let's get this bad boy up here. Boom. Okay. Uh, obviously we're going to need a, well we might need a knife. Maybe not. Oh, okay, cool. That's a good start. It's always good to, um... oh, okay. You got these sticky, these sticky things are just coming off. So that's making it super easy. Super easy. Um, okay. That's quite good, because normally these sticky things, they're like always stuck down so tightly to the point where you need to cut it. But this one is just coming off like this. Bam. So it's making it really easy to just do it. Uh, okay. Yeah, this has been like, you know, years in the making. Like I used to always wish, I used to always wish that they would do like a remake of like two, three, you know, like one, two, three are like probably like my personal favorite. Probably because of what it meant to me at the time during the PlayStation 1 era. But um, yeah. Like I've always been a big, big, big fan of Resident Evil franchise. Always wanted a, um, you know, like a figurine, but they just never really did good ones or any back then. And yeah, the fact that we're getting something like this, it's like a treat to behold. So yeah. Okay, so they're all off. Um, okay, so let's slide this sleeve off. Okay, so basically it's just a sleeve, nothing special. Um, obviously the back ten you what you get. It's quite cool. I keep that down here. And this is the box itself. Actually, let me get rid of this bubble wrap. That can go, let them fuck off somewhere. Okay. Oh, shit. That is actually really cool. Don't what's it, don't you think? Confidential. That's fucking sick. And like I've got this like, this suede material inside the box as well. I like, was, I love that freshness smell. Okay, so we've got the confidential folder. Can, was it, can this come out? I think it does. Let me see. see if I can get this out. Oh, okay, you can't, but, okay, well that's a code. So I'm gonna hide that because I don't want to see that shit. Um, Okay, that's, that's, that, that's actually really clever. So you basically get like the map is in here with the code and you get this map. Actually, so let's have a look at this map. So, you know what, let me just put this down to the side quickly. Let's have a look at the first thing that we've got. Don't need this knife. That should change. Raccoon Police Station. Converted museum to people in 1969. That's actually really cool. That, that's quite cool, isn't it? And on the back, you've got the layout of the Raccoon City Police Station, which is actually cool. Really cool. And I think at the bottom, uh, pray that this. Yeah, that's actually really cool. That's really cool. I might frame this, you know that. I actually might frame this. I know I'm tempted. Anyway, so that's one of the first things you get. Let's put that up there. Let's bring this back up, like so. Okay, so, what, what's this? Uh, written authorization required to read this. Really? Oh, that's actually really cool. So I think this is the the journal art oh art book or something. Actually. It's actually quite cool. So let me just put this to the side here. So basically this is what you get. As this is the next thing we come across. It says top secret. I don't know if anyone can see that. It says top secret. And you basically just get um Basically, like stuff like this. Let's 
actually really cool. Oh, it was on the front. It's actually really cool. And I love the, the quality. Okay, so let's put that there. Um, the next we get the, the game with the steel box. This bad boy right here. Can't wait. This is what I'll be playing tonight and the weekend and probably all next week. The steel box. Uh, what's this? Oh, this is the Resident Evil 2 special soundtrack. Thank you, cool. Uh, I like that. Ink ribbon. That I thought was quite clever. For typewriters only. That's really, really, really cool. So you get the physical soundtrack as well. Let's put that there. And what's this? What's this? I think these might be the keys. I'm assuming that these are the keys. Well, it better be the keys. Um, how do you even get these out? Oh, okay. Are these real life keys? Oh shit, they're actually real life metal keys. I thought these might be plastic, but these are actually like real life keys. That is so cool. That is really cool. They're metal keys. A part of me might be tempted to actually put it on my key ring. Nah, I was I might fuck it up, I don't even know. Maybe, but that's really cool. Okay, so that's that, let's put that there. Uh, what's this? Got the little evil pin. What's he gonna say? Made in, made in heaven. So it's made in heaven pin. I think this is the pin that Claire might be, might, it, might have on a, um, was it a jacket? I'm not entirely sure, but. I think, I think it is, but yeah, that, that, that's really cool. Okay, so let's see what else there is. Let's take this out. Okay, oh, let's take out. I think this is the main attraction. Yeah, it is, it's the main attraction. This box actually feels quite heavy, regardless, I mean, considering there's nothing in it. It's actually quite heavy. Okay, um, Leon S. Kennedy, okay, let's get him out, been in prison for too long, begging to be set free, and we're going to set him free. Oh, oh wow, the base is like really big. The base is really big. Karen, I think you might actually be right. This, this, this base is massive. Okay, I need another. What's that? I need another at this part to cut these things off. Which is why it's always good to have a knife or something sharp on hand, like scissors, to just you know, cut it and get to the attraction. Put this away because I don't want to injure Leon. My boy, S. Kennedy. That can go down there. Oh, that's sick. Come it comes with the handgun and the and the torch. More set of tape. heavy actually it's like really light but it's quite cool I think it's like the like a drain or something but it's really it's in here quite hollow plasticky no I thought this would be a bit more um solid and have a bit of weight to it let's get him out oh my god look at him fucking done no let's put the gun in his hand like it's only right, we put the gun in his hand. Wait, this gun does go in his hand, right? I want you fighting to even like wedge it in because I don't want to break it. If I'm not breaking it, I'll, I'll probably break down in tears and shit. Okay, that's in his hand. Yeah, sick. And the torchlight goes in there. Let's 
sick. Fucking sick. The detail. The detail. Okay, let me put him. Wait, is this where he goes? Is it this way? Or is it this way? It's this way. Let's get him firmly on. Oh my god. Look at this detail. Leon is beautiful. Pause. Look at this. Look at that. Fucking hell, man. The detail was just like sick. Yeah, Leon, my boy. My boy, look at you. Look at you. Look at him. Fucking sick. The Don, Leon S. Kennedy. High level human. High level. Look at that. Yeah, that's actually really, really, really sick. You can, like, like you can see where the money's gone into, like, you know, in terms of this figurine. Like, they've obviously, like, spent quite a bit to make this figurine. The detail is just, like, whew. yeah, fucking amazing. You can go up there with, like, Lara Croft, Aloy, Kratos, Nathan Drake. You know, Cammy, you can go up on the shelf with the rest of the high level individuals. Sick. So, the, yeah, that, that, what's it? that's actually really, really, yeah, it's actually really cool. So, basically, you get the, what's it? So, you get the map, which is cool, um, which is nice as well because it's almost like it's, like, even the, the, the quality of the paper. Anyway, so basically, you get the map, which is cool, um, you get the soundtrack, which is really cool, uh, you get a pin. I know that this is going on my um, waistcoat, you know, my jean waistcoat with all the rest of the badge with watchdogs and, and um, you know, uh, everything else that I have on there. That's definitely going there. You've got this, which is really cool. Like, I think this is like a combination of like the art book and, and, and stuff like that, but this is really cool. I like this. Really cool. Look at this. That was actually quite cool. Yeah, so you get this. Uh, obviously, you get the the keys, and these are actually real metal. We actually have weight. I'm actually really surprised. So yeah, that's actually really cool. A really cool thing to have. And obviously, the game itself. Um, I'm not gonna open this up because I'm, I'm I'm assuming it's got codes and stuff in there, and you know. But yeah, so this is basically what you get. You get all this stuff, and you get this. Bad boy, the main attraction, Leon fucking S. Kennedy. You know, he's got four names as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, but he, he's, yeah, the quality is amazing. So, anyway, um, I don't think I've forgotten anything else, have I? Let's see what this says. Um, yeah, that's it, apparently. And you get the deluxe DLC pack. So, you basically get different um, costumes for Leon and and uh claire get weapons um yeah you get a optional noir screen filter um original version soundtrack swap oh that's actually cool that's actually really cool uh samurai edge albert model that's a hint albert you know albert wesker because everyone knows that albert wesker was behind the scenes in the shadow manipulating scheming like puppeteer during resident evil 2 and 3 but um yeah yeah that's it was that's actually yeah that's actually really cool so yeah so uh this is the resident evil 2 remake uh collector's edition unboxing um i'm super super happy um i do think the price of uh i think it was like 230 if i'm not mistaken 230 is a bit um a bit it was a bit steep i think um i could probably maybe try to justify it by saying that maybe the figurine costs, you know, like a certain amount of money, like 60, 70, 80, 90 pounds or something like that maybe. Um, but when I think, but when I factor in the accounts, the game and everything else, it makes me wonder if this is really worth um, 230, you know, I think in terms of the content that you get, um, 
I don't know, was I, I don't think that this is particularly worth it, but in terms of nostalgia, and if you're a big fan of Resident Evil, and you know, and just have it as collectors, then yes, it's, I would say it's definitely worth having because it's like once in a lifetime, you know. Um, so yeah. Anyway, so that's it. Uh, my name is Jay, aka Mr. Ghost Protocol. Thank you for watching this sort of casual games um, unboxing. Um, you can like, subscribe, um, that'd be much appreciated. Leave any comments down below. If you've got the collector's edition or if you bought the game, you know, tell me what you think in terms of the value, the quality, you know, anything like that. Um, you know, uh, you can uh, follow us on Twitter, uh, on Instagram. We're also on SoundCloud. We do our podcasts on there and stuff like that. So you can check us out on SoundCloud as well. And yeah, I suppose that's about it. So thank you for watching. Was it evil? <laughs> Look at him. Oh, shit, I just can't believe it. Ah, oh, Leon, man. You're going on the top shelf, dude, because you seem quite tall.